What's up, internet basketball junkies? In today's video, we look at a unique delay game strategy. Obviously, if your state association has adopted a shot clock, this tactic cannot be as effective as it can be without a shot clock. In Ohio, we have no shot clock, so strategies like this can be very effective. Where do I stand on a shot clock for high school basketball? I honestly like not having a shot clock. I like the strategy involved in using these kind of techniques. I like having options as a coach to slow the game down, in particular when the talent disparity is very wide, which can happen quite often in high school basketball where you cannot pick your players unless you're certain schools. I think it's harder to hold the ball than people actually think, and this strategy can backfire very easily if not done correctly. If there were a shot clock in Ohio, I'd have no issue with it, and I would adapt with no complaints, but I like the strategy involved. Where do you stand on having a shot clock in high school basketball? Drop a comment below and let me know why you support or don't support a shot clock in high school basketball. So now let's dive into the strategy. This particular delay tactic uses an open sideline as the main attack point within the offense, keeping a dynamic driver on the empty side. The penetration from this spot is a long drive, but helping on this drive puts the defense in a long rotation. A key thing to point out is that the player in the far side corner away from the ball is the center for the offensive team. This creates some problems for the defense pulling their center away from the basket. If the defending center comes out, the basket is exposed. If the defending center stays back, there is a free pass away from the basket at any time if the offense wants it. The remaining players work in a rotation together with one at the center circle by half court and the other two in a stack on the weak side. Anytime off the ball movement is needed because things are getting stagnant, the player at the center circle sets a pin down to bring one of the players out of the stack to the half court area. The player at the bottom of the stack is crucial when penetration happens. He must read whether the spot up in the corner is open for the three or to cut to the basket. The movement by these three players make the defensive rotation challenging because players usually aren't standing waiting while the rotations of the defense change. This delay game tactic can be used for a variety of reasons. It can be used as a clock management technique to take the last shot at the end of a quarter. Uh, secondly, the strategy can be used to preserve a lead and run clock. Third, it can be used to keep the game close so that the team utilizing the strategy can stay within striking distance down the stretch of a game. And fourth, it can be used to frustrate an opponent that wants to play at a faster pace or has superior talent. As a coach, I love having these options in my toolbox. I understand the argument that it's not real basketball or that it's boring, but if it's something used effectively, it can be something your team does and the community can really rally behind. When using this strategy, the offense always has to be prepared to play out of traps. The defense isn't likely to want to sit back and let the pace of the game get dictated to them, in particular when it's not in their favor to play in this style of game. It can be very frustrating as an opponent to go against, and they will throw the kitchen sink, defenses will, all right, as, as it's necessary, try to get the offense out of this delay game strategy. When my team saw strategies like this, we would usually start to trap out a man-to-man -man or flip to a 1-3-1 trap on the fly. We didn't Sit, want to sit back and watch valuable time run off the clock. Defensive trap scheme strategies can be advantageous to the offense sometimes, especially with the spacing provided by this delay game strategy. If you're enjoying the content, give this video a like. Make sure to hit the bell to get notifications on future videos. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, browse my Selfi store. The link is in the description. I have detailed basketball coaching content for sale. Topics include the European ball screen offense, the circle motion offense, how to run a strength training program, a 1-2-1-1 diamond press, a 1-3-1 half court trap, how to build a youth program, fundraising for high school basketball, and much, much more. Also, take a look at my newest product, which I call My Portfolio, which is not only what I would present to an interview committee to interview for a high school basketball coaching job, but also every supporting document we use to run our program. This includes outlines for how to run fundraisers, templates for practice plans, guides to our offensive and defensive screens, and how to run a preseason meeting with your parents, and much, much more. Check out the link in the description to see all the content. Thanks for breaking down this film with me.